Hi everyone. It's crunch time for Manchester United, and the spotlight is squarely on manager Eric Ten Hag. But let's cut straight to the chase. Ten Hag's second season at the helm hasn't been smooth sailing. Injuries have plagued the team, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. His tactical choices and transfer decisions have also raised eyebrows. You see, his high transition style simply doesn't mesh well with the squad he has at his disposal, leading to lackluster performances on the pitch. As for recruitment, the signings of Antony and some players have been criticized a lot and only Lisandro Martinez's signing can be termed as a winner. His penchant for signing former Eredivisie products has also come under the scanner, while going after players with links to SEG agency has not been viewed kindly by many. The Red Devils spent £410 million on 16 new players under Ten Hag's tenure. Despite the hefty investments, the club's transfer record hasn't lived up to expectations. But with Ineos now in the picture, and this is bound to change. Sir Jim Ratcliffe obviously has come with a plan, ready to shake things up at United. The arrival of a new CEO and sporting director signals a shift in the club's structure. Then there are plans to recruit a head of recruitment and a technical director. Once everyone is on board, the transfer focus will be set but as has been reported previously, Ten Hag will no longer have the same say. Reports also suggest he might walk away if his role is diminished, with Ratcliffe eyeing a more hands-on approach to recruitment. Emphasizing the importance of a cohesive transfer strategy, allowing managers to focus on the pitch. Yet, the pressure is on Ten Hag to deliver results, with Champions League qualification and FA Cup success crucial to his survival. So, what's your take on Ten Hag's future at Manchester United? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that like button if you're rooting for the Red Devils to turn things around.